Here it is, the patchy event, Roadhogs catch a Mari, collect patchy Maris to score points. Event ends April 4th, you get a skin, a weapon charm, name card, now player icons. Now someone told me that this skin was already existent, I apologize for not knowing that, but the fact that it was a pre-existing skin is kind of automatically an L, I think it's only four rewards, but let's take a closer look, shall we? Let's understand this update. So first we got the featured, what is this picture? Wait, what? Okay, we get Necromancer Ramatra. This skin looks unfinished. This is a cool uh, cool victory pose, but is it me or does this look very unfinished? Not the staff. The staff looks finished. This looks okay as well. It's just the normal mode. It looks like clay. It looks very smooth. Like the face and stuff? Wait, am I crazy? Alright, you guys can let me know if I'm crazy. Uh, this mode looks pretty cool. I think this looks good. I think the staff looks good. And I think this pose looks good. But something about this looks off to me. Maybe I'm... You can you can let me know if maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just tripping. Though. We get the 3v3 Roadhogs Kachamari. Defeat enemies and catch their Pachimaris. Okay. Let's try the game mode itself, shall we? So you actually load into Hanamura itself. So Nostalgia Overload. It's actually great. So I'm going to read the challenges after trying the game mode. So they actually make more sense to you. And on top of that, I'm going to give you a little bit of a review of the game mode. Because I think they did good. I think this is exactly what we need for events. And I have a lot of thoughts. But before getting to that, I have a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by Goblin Tech Keys and they sent me out both a keyboard and a extra pair of keycaps for me to give an honest review and check out. Now it came with three stickers which is kind of nice because they're a very small company but these are custom made overwatch keycaps which is obviously super fitting for this channel. It is premium high quality feels great and my favorite part is it connects a modular USB-C cable, a USB port for wireless access or even Bluetooth which is amazing three ways and yes it lights up this is a little bit of an overwatch blue on the background or RGB. But they sent me a second pair of keycaps and this one is One Punch Man X Overwatch because you can completely custom make these keyboards from scratch or get their help to custom make them. This is an event that's going on right now and look perfectly themed to the even the point that I got my Doom Fist abilities on the keycaps. I absolutely love it. Yes it does light up but I think yellow looks the cleanest and seriously these are fully customizable and oh yeah this is how they sound. Overall, the build quality felt good. The rubber at the bottom makes sure it doesn't move at all. And also, these are some reviews from their website. You can see people do a lot of customization. Now, admittedly, the most common one is anime themed stuff, but you can literally customize it any way you want. There's a pre-made customization tool within the website. It's a little complicated, but that's what they're there for. The customer support is very friendly and they'll help you build your custom keyboard. Make sure to check out Goblin Tech Keys using the link down below. Oh, whoa, it's unique. Wait, what? It's unique, bro. Hanamura is weird, dude. Oh my god. So what are we doing here? Oh, I see. It's like a kill confirmed. Okay, okay. But no way that didn't hit you. No way that I call you. I call cap. No way that didn't hit you. Okay. So when you kill them, you get like a kill tag. Okay, it's literally kill tag. Okay. Alright, so obviously you saw a little bit of my gameplay. I'm actually going to be coming in and out of in-game commentary and then just my thoughts. As you guys just heard me explain, you kill someone, you pick up their Pachamari, counts as a point, first to 20 points wins, and it's a 3v3. To be honest, it's a lot of fun. No, don't get that health back. Okay, sure. Yo, chill, 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 chill. I don't want to play. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Oh my god, help, help, help. <laughs> mercy. Alright, Mercy, help me. Oh, did they drop? Okay, they dropped. I mean, let me be honest, you can hear me having fun. It, it's it's more, in, it's with, okay, Blizzard, this is how you do it. I don't really care about the skin too much. I don't think it's the prettiest Roadhog skin, but you know what? You have challenges that we can complete. You have rewards that are for free, and you have a game mode that is a 3v3 that I could at least play with some friends, and it's not just a boring deathmatch. It's actually fun. It's fast paced. I can play any hero I want. The tanks are now nerfed, so I have low health, but the Roadhog also has low health, meaning it just stays fast paced. It stays fun. It stays engaging, and maybe I'm over -hyped it but there's just a little bit of a, a nice little uh, sprinkle of sugar on top a little bit of a cherry on top when it comes to the fact that now we, we even get to play on Hanamura and you even went ahead and designed Hanamura I, I I like it no no he hooked me back into the he hooked me back into the ultimate 
I just Bro. think it's an excellent thing that Blizzard did here. I think it's a more cohesive game mode that's just a lot more fun. Now, after we get through this, I'm going to show the challenges, like I said previously, just so they make more sense. Like, jumping on that little jump pad right there that you see in the background as I was talking, that's a challenge. You just jump once, and then there you go. I finished one of the challenges. Then some are just winning or just playing Pachamarchi, which is it's a lot of fun, or Kachamari, or Kachamarchi is what they're calling it. I, I'm having trouble. Now, when you actually pick up a tag, a patchy caught, the enemies can also pick it back up once like let's say i die and a teammate picks up my patch of marshy that i dropped it denies the enemies from getting it that for example is a challenge on its own and it's just these things that make the game mode more engaging than i guess i thought it's one of the more fun arcade <laughs> game modes fun. you know why because you can play with team oh i stopped this all oh, that's so bm no oh moira okay moira cleaned it up moira cleaned it up that was a little sad felt like i did good but then i threw I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'll wait for the hook, I'll bait the hook, I'll bait the hook, I'll bait the... Can we not heal? And of course... I'm waiting for his hook. Oh my god, he's unhooked. Oh, I dodged his hook. Now, I, I know I know my uh, Doomfist gameplay here is uh, questionable at best, but you know what? I think that's the next point, is it just works for the casual player. And I don't know how many of you guys who watch this channel consider yourselves a casual player or maybe a hybrid where you play competitive, but you also like to just chill and, and you kind of hold Overwatch dear in a sense of the way I do. I hold Overwatch dear in the sense of like, if I want a game I can play with my friends or, or or just a duo or just unwind without over focusing overwatch always had that special place for me outside of its i know it has a hard competitive rank i know it has a rich history in, of competitive i know there's a lot of strategies and metas and it's always evolving we talk about it on this channel but just having something more casual like this that's engaging with friends is fantastic look how this mccree finishes me off oh no no oh, i'm no, leave me alone <laughs> no okay we win I even went ahead and typed that it was pretty fun, and to my surprise, they also agreed. I think people are enjoying it. It's easy to find matches right now, and it's kind of pretty fun. That could have been could have been worse, to be honest. I love how it just <laughs> my immediate reaction is it could have been worse. I mean, uh, not to knock on Blizzard, but they haven't exactly had the best reputation as of recent. But anyways, it's fast-paced, and you can play whoever, just like that comment said in-game. It's just, it's just facts. It's a lot of fun, but let's get into the challenges next. So to get the Roadhog skin, you need to complete six Kachamari event challenges. Some of these are Patchy Caught, which is score three points in Roadhog's Kachamari. Jump for Joy, use one jump pad in Roadhog's Kachamari. Kachamari Warrior, complete four games, wins grant double, so only win two. Kachamari Warrior 3, complete 12 games, win grant, wins grant double, sorry about that. Kachamari Contestant, complete five games of Roadhog's Kachamari, wins grant double. Patchy saved, deny three points in Roadhog's Kachamari. Ultimari, score or deny 40 points. Pachamari Warrior 2, complete eight games, win, wins grand double. Okay, so there's a bunch of just... So winners. yeah, super easy. I like this event. GG, well played. Good job, Blizzard.